Just uh, say that it's a privilege and a, a pleasure to be here at uh, NDIM once again uh, with such distinguished company uh, uh, board members and faculty, but most important, uh, students, the graduates. I wanted to simply, uh, in my sort of uh, comments, which are intended to offer some blessings to you, simply uh, first of all start off by saying a heartfelt, warm and sincere congratulations to all of you for this uh, success as graduates. Uh, it's a very, very special moment and these are the types of events for me that are the most uh, desired in my time here in India because it's really celebrating a lot of hard work, a lot of success but also taking a lot of the work that you've done and start thinking a bit about where this goes from here. And in my uh, comments, I'm simply going to leave you with three thoughts, three words in fact, uh, all of which happen to start with an I, inspire. The first word is, you know, we just had uh, Honorable former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh. There are very few people that inspire like that. But the fact that you graduated with these degrees, you now have an opportunity uh, to inspire others with what you've succeeded. Those around you, people here, but more importantly, in the future, whether it's your own kids or others, inspire them to succeed, inspire them to pursue an education. And uh, I, I enjoy these types of events because I would not be standing here before you if it wasn't for education. And what you've achieved, you'll be able to pass on to others as well. The second word would be impact. Uh, I think, uh, Having graduated, you are working, you're working professionals, you will earn for your own livelihood for those of your families. But I would also urge you to take what you've learned, take your graduation, take your degree, your diploma, and uh, pay it forward. Look at ways in which you can have impact. Um, I think, uh, you know, we heard earlier about starting companies, entrepreneurship, creating jobs for others, giving back in ways that you can use your education for the further growth development and prosperity for India and also other countries around the world uh, as well. And third, innovate. Um, you know, challenge the status quo, take a look at what you're doing in your own worlds with respect to work, your professional environment, as India grows, your international relations, think differently. Think what you've learned over the course of the last uh, several months and through your, uh, your, your diploma. Uh, how can you use that to go outside the box in terms of different types of thinking. So if you inspire others just as you have inspired uh, us today, uh, if you think a little bit about what impact you can have after having completed, yeah, no doubt, a very difficult set of studies to graduate today, and also how you can think differently and innovate, uh, I think taking what you've learned and taking this diploma can really, really help take India, take society here to even greater heights thanks to you. And I think what this means is that there's a responsibility that comes with your education just as much as there is success. And use that responsibility, use it wisely, take advantage of it. Um, no one will ever take that education away from you. What you do with it can go far beyond your professional worlds and I think I would encourage you to think about that. So I wish to offer you all the best of success, best wishes, blessings for an extremely prosperous career ahead of you and uh, look forward to engaging in different uh, paths down the road, whether it's through your professional studies or perhaps in Canada someday as well. Congratulations.